Hey everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on Selection Sort and how you can implement this algorithm in Python. So Selection Sort, like Insertion Sort, is a simple sorting algorithm with a simple implementation that is easy to understand. But on the downside it has quadratic running time, which makes it a bit slower compared to more complex sorting algorithms like Merge Sort, for example. But either way, I just want to show you a quick example that should clarify how this algorithm works and afterwards we can jump into the implementation. So suppose we have this list of six numbers and we want to sort it. The general idea of selection sort is to find the minimum in this list and place it at the front. So first of all, we want to find the one in this list and make it the first element. Afterwards, we want to find the two and make it the second element. So we can sequentially build up a sorted list. And selection sort implements this idea by starting with the first element, marking it as the current minimum, and now iterating through the whole list in an inner loop to see if there's an element that is less than two. So it checks for six, six is not less than two, five is not less than two, then it finds the one and sees that one is less than two and marks it as the current minimum of the list. Now it checks the three and the three is now compared to the one to see if the three is less than one, but in this case, nothing happens. Three is greater than one and four is greater than one, uh, two. And after the iteration is finished, we know that the one is the minimum of this whole list. So we swap the one and the two. So now we have one at the beginning, which is the right, right place for the one. And in the second iteration, we go on with the six and try to find the minimum of this unordered part of the list by again doing these comparisons. We compare five to the six and see that five is less than six. So we mark five as the current minimum. Then we see that two is less than five and mark two as the current minimum. Three is greater than two, so nothing happens. Four is greater than two, so nothing happens. And we're done with the inner loop and we can again swap two and six to bring two in the right position in this list. In the next iteration, we start with the five, mark it as the current minimum, see that six is greater, do nothing, see that three is less than five, so mark it as the new current minimum, and see that four is greater than three, so nothing happens. And we can do the swap after this inner loop and swap the three and the five to bring the three in the right position. And now we go on with the six and mark it as the current minimum of all the elements that are not in, ins in a sorted order right now. So we see that five is less than six and we mark five as the current minimum, but we see also that four is less than five. So this becomes the minimum of the unordered part. And now after this iteration, we can swap four, four and six, which leaves four in the right place. And actually it leaves five and six in the right place too, but the algorithm doesn't know it yet. So the algorithm needs one more iteration to see if um, the list is already ordered. So we go on with the five marked as the current minimum of the unordered part and compare it to the six. And after this iteration, nothing happens. And we see that five is in the right position and we automatically know that the last element is in the right position too, because there's nothing to compare it to. Now let's go on with the fun part the implementation in Python. So first of all, let me define our example from earlier. Uh, inside a Python list object, we can define a Python list object by using this square bracket mutation and um, separating the values by commas. So I just defined this list to see, uh, to have something to test our implementation on. Now let's define the algorithm inside a Python function can define a fun function in Python by using the def keyword, then writing the function name, in this case, selection sort, then writing the arguments, in this case, array, inside parentheses, and finishing the line with the colon. As you probably remember from the example, we need two loops, one outer loop that just goes from left to right through the list and says, in the first iteration, we want to find the minimum of the whole list and place it at the first position in the list. In the second iteration, we want to find the second smallest element 
and place it at the second position in the list, and so on. So we just need a loop that goes from index zero to index length of list minus one. We can skip the last index here, because when selection short arrives at this point, it already is finished because there's nothing to compare to. In the first iteration, i is zero, and this points at the first element in this list, which is two. In the second iteration, i is one, and then it points to the six. And this will go on until i is four, uh, where it points at this three. Inside this loop, we need a variable that saves the index of our current minimum. So let me just define this variable. I just call it current min index. And in the beginning, we set it to i. And now we need an inner loop that checks to the right of index i if there's an element that is smaller than the current minimum. So let me define another for loop, this time starting at i plus one and going to the end of the list. And inside this loop, we need to make this comparison. If the array at position j is less than the array at current min index, we found a new minimum and we need to save the position of this new minimum inside our variable. So after this inner loop is finished, our current minimum index will point to the element that is the smallest right to i. So the smallest inside all the unordered elements in the list. And then we are ready to implement the swap. So if you remember the tutorial from insertion search, a swap in Python can be implemented like this. This is a special assigning notation. That just assigns the element at current min index to the position i and the element at position i to position current min index. So ju this just implements a swap. And in Python you can comment something uh, using the hash character. So I just uh, commented swap to show a reader of this code what is happening here. This is everything we need to do to make selection sort work. Um, we can test this by calling this function and passing the function called the parameter array. And afterwards we can just use the print function to print our array. Let me just copy the result from my console uh, to show you if it worked for me. And this is my result. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, which um, is a perfectly ordered list. And this is everything we wanted. So we're done here. Feel free to ask questions in the comments and see you in the next one.